Here's an interesting little thing I found. It has two white LEDs, so the voltage drop of these LEDs is roughly 3.2 volts, and it only operates on a AA battery, which is 1.5 volts. So there's some kind of circuitry inside this that steps up that voltage to the 3.2 potential in order to drive those LEDs. So I'm going to open that up and see what kind of circuitry they use. Okay, so here's the circuit board. It's quite small. I can see a transistor on the back here, and it looks like a inductor on the other side. So I'm going to take out these screws next, and would you look at that? There's just one inductor and one transistor. So I'm going to take a look at this circuit and draw out a schematic for you. All right, so here's the schematic. I'm not sure if this is a P-channel or an N-channel transistor. And I determined that this would be the gate, source, and drain because that's how it's connected with the typical pinout configuration of the SOT23 in transistor formation. Uh, so here you are with the gate, the source, the drain, and the inductor goes from the gate to the source, and then the LEDs are attached to the source, to the drain and to the battery. This is just the switch that turns it on and off. So I'm going to need to take the SOT23 out of the circuit to determine what kind of transistor it is. I assume it's a MOSFET or a FET because the gate appears to be attached directly to the positive of the battery and the drain directly to the negative of the battery. So if that was a BJT, that base would have burned up a long time ago. So, I need to yank this from the circuit and we'll see what we have. So instead of removing the surface mount component, I just removed the inductor. So, I can measure points here, here, and here to determine what kind of component that is. So when I hook this up to my oscilloscope, it turns out it's not purely a transistor. It's a voltage controlled oscillator. So if we come over to the oscilloscope here, this is the waveform that it's generating. And if I adjust the potentiometer I have at what I was calling the gate, the frequency will change a little bit, as will the voltage output. So that's a rather interesting component. I haven't run across one of these yet. So, as this thing oscillates, it shuts off rather quickly. You can see here it is ramping up to turn on. That's a rather slow shift, but when it turns off, that's pretty rapid. If I zoom up to 50 nanoseconds per division, you can see that's a shutoff time of 100 nanoseconds. So, when that shuts off, the inductor refuses to change its current, so it will increase its voltage and that voltage will get up to the point to break over with the white LED. So that's how that circuit works. Very cool. I'm not sure what these components are called, but it's a 3 liter device which oscillates dependent upon the voltage input. And it also acts somewhat like a transistor where the voltage will decrease as the voltage decreases to the base of the 3 liter device. And I've reconstructed the circuit, and we're looking at the voltage now with the inductor and LEDs in the circuit. So this is at 1 volt per division, so it goes up to 3.2 volts. This is where the LED would turn on and then turn off, so this is the on time for the LED. Alright, well thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. Hopefully I can find out what kind of part that is, and when I do, I'll post a link in the description. Thanks for watching.